With seemingly endless options at your local health food store, it's hard to imagine that there aren't that many good options for protein bars. So let's take a look at the ingredients and go over why that's the case. I think just about everyone, including myself, would get incredibly overwhelmed when looking at all of these options. It is absolutely crazy. But the first thing we have to ask is, is the bar organic? If the bar is not organic, that kind of removes the worst options already. Does it make sense to look at the products that aren't organic? I guess so. I guess some of them might not be too bad, but that, that puts a lot up in the air. One thing I noticed immediately was these collagen protein bars have really been marketed strongly over the past few months. And if anything, these are worse than the majority of the other products. MCT oil is highly filtered. This hydrolyzed collagen has to go through so many processes. Imagine, they're making this from agrochemical feedlot beef waste. The skin, the hooves, all that garbage from cows they're putting in cashew butter. These collagen protein bars are one of the worst things that are being sold under clever marketing tactics. So this is a minimal ingredient bar. Organic dates, organic peanuts, organic strawberries, organic chia seeds. You know, if we analyze each of these foods on an individual basis, you know, the peanuts have omega-6 concerns, the chia seeds have anti-nutrient concerns, strawberries and dates aren't too bad, but then all you have is caloric energy. So overall, I would say, you know, this bar isn't actually that bad. Jones bar, it's all organic. Maybe they have a bar that's passable without omega-6. So they put almonds and season here as well. I think this is going to be an overarching theme. A lot of these protein bars are going to contain omega-6. A lot of them have peanut butter, almond butter, some type of nut butter is going to make it so we don't really want to consume these. So what's up with these RX bars? They look minimal ingredients. Three egg whites, 14 peanuts, two dates, no BS. Yeah, well, it's not certified organic. So outside of the biotin deficiency concerns with the egg whites, you know, conventionally raised chickens, estrogen, what's in the feed, peanuts, high omega-6, dates, nothing's organic. If it's not organic, look, regardless of how simple it is, even if this was organic, it would be an issue. So now you're adding even more pollutant and agrochemical concerns. So these Epic bars might be one of the better things we're looking at today. Egg yolks, chicken, and apple. So the problem is, even if this is organic and it's from, quote, cage-free chickens, whatever, it's still American corn and soy-fed chicken. So these are thrown out the window based off the fact that these are probably loaded with estrogen if they contain American chickens in them. What about this 100% beef? Beef, dried cherries, walnuts, lactic acid. I mean, it still has stuff in it you don't want to eat. These have bacon, pork is a, a red flag. All right, this might actually be the first one that I would eat. what did they put in the venison? Lactic acid, no additives, not stuff you want. And it's not certified organic either, so. Is this the worst thing in the world? I mean, what are you gonna have it for a snack? There, there's much better options than a supermarket. Let's take a look at these. To me, this thing, love good fats, keto, it is very like in your face, marketing to the standard American consumer. Yeah, this is basically how much crap can we shove in a bar and keep it keto and low carb. You know, 30 ingredients, not organic, bunch of chemicals, additives. There's no reason in assessing this. This is near the bottom of our list so far. All right, so far we've looked at three categories of bars. They seem to have some meat-based bars that aren't organic, that are minimal ingredients, but again, we have conventional feedlot animal concerns. We have minimal ingredient bars. The non-organic ones are certainly inferior to the organic options we have. So really the Jones bars are looking pretty good. You know, we have the BS Keto marketing bars that have 30 ingredients in them. Collagen protein is a category on its own, I think, in deceiving people. Let's check out organic plant-based performance protein bar. So although this is organic, the bioavailability and nutrition of this is, is gonna be all towards macronutrient energy. And look at that ingredient list, it's ridiculous, but let's go down it. So organic tapioca is a start source, it's not too bad. Tea protein definitely has some anti-nutrient concerns. Almond butter, omega-6, pollutant, mycotoxic concerns. Organic vegetable glycerin, it's highly processed sugar, you don't want that. Chocolate coating with a bunch of chemicals. So this gets worse and worse and worse. On paper, compared to a standard American diet, it's actually not horrendous, but it's still, you know, something that's probably towards the middle of the pack here. You know, since it is organic, there are some pollutant concerns removed, but that's it. One apple, one pear in each food bar. Why don't you just go buy an apple and a pear? Or in the supermarket. Ingredients, apples and pears. Okay, so 
I mean, if this was organic, then I would go for this 100% because it's just fruit. But, you know, why, why don't you just go buy some organic fruit if you're going to get this? I guess it's nice to, to carry around, a, but you can dehydrate your own fruit and blend it into a bar like this, I think, fairly easily. Organic protein. This is why we made the Warrior Bar, guys. This is exactly why we made the Warrior Bar. Look at all this crap. These Lara Bars are something I've always heard of. Vegan, gluten-free, peanut butter cup. I guess, you know, I think they were just known for tasting good. I think that's why people like them. Definitely less ingredients, but you know, still omega-6 base, still not good. So yeah, I mean, that's not horrendous, but again, towards the middle of the pack here. A lot of plant-based nonsense, a lot of agrochemical waste, a lot of concerns. Uh, again, I think the Jones bars are at the top of the list here, and if these were organic, they'd be better too. I don't see too many other organic bars. I mean, look, what is this nonsense? Pecan goji pistachio. Like, I don't even have to look at that. I guess we could take a look at Kind. It's a popular brand. High amount of ingredients, not as high as some of the other things we've seen, but this is mostly chemicals and, and processed garbage, so we don't want that. The hemp bar. Hemp protein is uh, really making a push, but you know, the amino acid profile isn't ideal. Hard on digestion, high in anti-nutrients. A lot of vegan bars. I think most of these down here are all plant-based nonsense bars. Nothing we really want to consider. Go Macro, peanut butter organic bar. If you put peanut butter in a bar, it's already off my list. It, it's too expensive to use quality ingredients. You want to make a bar with macadamia nut, you're going to be spending a lot of money. Banana, almond butter, you know, it's all mocha chocolate chip. What's this? Mother, daughter own and based in a small rural community. Our mission is to spread awareness for a balanced plant-based lifestyle with products that, <laughs> AKA we're poisoning you. Be nice to us because we're Southern and we put 40 ingredients in it. Go figure. Yeah, I was hoping I'd be pleasantly surprised by something. Oddly enough, one of the first ones we looked at was the best one. What about this Primal Kitchen astroturfing BS? I hate Primal Kitchen. It's like, it's supposed to be paleo and good, but it's actually just standard American bull crap. It's not even organic. Look, how are you charging $2 for one bite? Look how small this bar is. I'd rather not eat. It's so processed. This is like, these bars are so incredibly processed. If you looked in the factory while they were making these, it would just be a bunch of powders and syrups and, and mush. You would not be able to distinguish the ingredients on their own. Oat Mega 3. We know how this one's gonna go. Unless they put fish in this bar, they shouldn't be marketing it as Omega-3. We believe a strong brain is just as important as a strong body. By packing our delicious protein bars with sustainably sourced Omega-3s and 14 grams of grass. Oh, I might have to shut off grass fed whey protein. Talking shit here. They might have, they might have me uh, beat. Grass fed whey protein concentrate. So it's probably an American way. So the grass fed marketing is probably deceitful. Oh, they put fish in here. Man, this must taste horrible. <laughs> but why would you put whey protein, fish oil, and then put all the, 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 if you have allergies, this thing would make you sick and go to the hospital. So there's two concerns here. One, you know, it's not organic way. It's not from a, it's probably American way. So there's agrochemical and estrogenic concerns. And you never want to buy a fish oil supplement. It's basically oxidized omega-3. And then they put vegetable, why would you put vegetable glycerin, tapioca syrup, and something that is seemingly good? The marketing on this is terrible. Oat Mega 3. Why don't you call it like Fishy Way 3 or something? I don't get it. Oat Mega 3, Oat Mega 3. Oat Mega 3, Oat Mega 3. I don't know, apparently they're not doing that well. What about these guys? Square Organics. Are these guys gonna take the Crown King from, uh, from Jones Bar? Organic whole grain brown rice syrup protein? Organic whole grain brown rice protein, okay. Here's the deal. So that's the only bar we've seen today that uses grass-fed whey protein. I don't think we've seen another bar that has whey protein in general. A lot of these protein energy bars are moving away from a protein source because it's expensive. I mean, collagen protein, you know, they have a source of protein, but it's agrochemical waste and they're charging $4 for two bites of bullshit. Uh, these other ones though, very little protein. It's all plant-based, cheap ingredients. You know, the meat bars are, none of them are organic. None of them are reliable. It's all, it's all astroturfing. This is basically 
conventional feedlot beef, whatever, chicken, and they're trying to market it as healthy, which I don't really like. So your protein options are basically astroturfing agrochemical waste or plant-based protein, which isn't available. He took off his mask in the store. <gasps> <laughs> uh, this has me more and more excited for us launching our Warrior Bar officially. So we should have it in uh, two ounce portions relatively soon. So uh, you guys can go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We have Plain, which is for really strict dieters. It's, you know, no carbs, basically just whey, tallow, and salt. We have a vanilla ice cream flavor. We have chocolate. We have banana, coconut, macadamia nuts. So definitely give those bars a try, guys. Minimal ingredients, high quality free of agrochemicals, giving you nutrients, protein, fats, everything you need to be healthy. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this answers some questions. Uh, basically what I would do is <laughs> buy something else from the supermarket. Uh, there's way better options than these protein bars. And you know, I would even try to make something similar to what we have on Frankie's arrangement yourself. So thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.